No, don't, don't follow your jerk of a mom. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. Oh, I'm at the house, obviously. And uh, thought, I haven't done an update on the farm in months. There's been a lot of stuff that happened, so I thought I'd kind of go a quick rundown of some of the things, just see what happens and, you know, see how everything went. Uh, the geese, though, I mean, they're doing their thing. Actually, let's go check a nest. They started making a nest, and I actually have some eggs in the incubator. We'll go check that out also. But uh, there has been two. It started out as just one. They changed corners on me yesterday, but there's one spot where they've been dropping an egg, um, and recently there have been two. So um, hopefully there's two more. But they've been coming in here. I'm going to get some straw in here and see... Okay, whatever. Uh, see if uh, I can get some of the ducks and stuff to start using this. But this corner over here uh, is where they had originally started. And the first time I found it, uh, there was like seven eggs buried in here. But I don't feel any, so I'm guessing that they did move over to this corner here. Whoa. Well, that's cool. Um, I gathered this yesterday, so these are all brand new today. We got four pack. That is awesome. There has also been a duck that's been putting some eggs here, but uh, nothing today. Man, that's cool. That I've noticed. I mean, I recognize this egg. There's been one that's laying a little bit smaller than the other ones. Not sure exactly which ones are in here doing it, but uh, wow, cool. I'm gonna take those inside real quick. You know, now that I've got that done, uh, some of these geese that are obvious crosses. I think I'm gonna get rid of next sale. I mean, it looks really cool. Had yeah, bad. Hey. Hi. Hi. You're still really, really loud. Anyway, yeah, we'll talk later. Uh, I moved the call ducks over here. You guys make a mess so fast. But, uh, they're doing good. I think, I know they're all blue fawn calls, but I think I might get rid of these drakes and pick up just a regular uh, gray call drake which I did buy one, and uh, they killed it. So, yeah, not cool. Anyway, I think I might replace these two drakes because uh, the one, he's pretty big, and the other one just didn't re uh, produce for me last year. So, we'll see if we can get him to post. I literally just fed you guys. What can you possibly be yelling about? Hmm? Uh, you got your pets. You want your pets too? Hmm? Come. Hey, come here. Man, he's getting really bad. Anyway, enough of the geese. But the Muscovies are much quieter. Hopefully they start laying and everything real soon. I've got hens all over the place, which you guys aren't supposed to see like those two there. Pretty sure it's those two. I know it's the black one for sure. I did buy some, that auction video hasn't come out yet. But uh, yeah, I've got so many hens. Cause I mean, shoot just right here. One, two, three, four, five, six pair of Pekins. There's, there's a lot of Muscovies. If they put out like Muscovies normally do, um, that could be that could be a lot, a lot, a lot. Because I mean, it's not uncommon for them to throw anywhere from 12 to 15. I had one hen throw three clutches of eggs last year, and that's way more ducks than what I need. But it'd be fun to watch. I want to get some more Welsh Harlequins though. Such a pretty duck. Did you lay an egg under there again? I was gonna throw all this stuff away, but they like laying in here. Looks like nothing. Anyway, let's go check on the incubator. Well, we got uh, 21 goose eggs, a handful of turkey and duck in there. Hopefully they hatch out for me. Uh, with the weather temps in here, this incubator has been struggling to keep a solid temp, so we'll see. Still got water. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it keeps up. Back here, we got the Canadas. Um, oh, your buddy's way back there. Yeah. Hopefully that they, they <laughs> hopefully they throw me a clutch or two this year. That would be awesome. Yeah, he's not a real big fan of me being back here. Anyway, they're doing good. Okay, goats. Where? Hey, there you are. Hi. Hey, baby. Hey, no, no, run away. Uh, my least favorite goat threw a big single uh, doling here, which I mean I'm happy it's a doling. But uh, yeah, she's the only one that kept her kid. It was a rough year for baby goats. Um, yeah, so go ahead and rip this bandaid off. 
I am one for 10 on kid goats. One for 10. Uh, had a bunch of them kid out right during the coldest part of, well, the month, last month. And uh, yeah, had fresh straw down, all sorts of stuff. A couple of them, the new moms did drop them like outside the shelters. Like over here, they would drop them like here or over in front. Um, this has been beat down quite a bit, but this was all real nice straw here. Um, yeah, didn't do a whole lot for them. So lost a bunch of kids. The worst part is uh, we lost Karen also. She had twins. Twins are one of the. She had twins. One of the other goats threw triplets, but uh, she had twins. I had one uh, that was really cold, but I got it to stay alive. Kept her alive for like two days, and then it just didn't make it. But uh, she didn't clean out or something. I'm not exactly what her issue was, and uh, she died also. So that was. It's been a rough go for goats so far, but I do have uh, this one little baby that we can take a look at. Oh, don't don't follow your jerk of a mom. This this goat loves to jump fences. <sighs> She's a royal pain. Hey baby, what's up, baby? No, don't listen to mom. Hey baby. Hey. Hi. Remember? Not you. I like you too. You. Here. Well, mom's got you distracted. Hi. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. People want to look at you. It's a pretty little goat. Such a pretty little goat. Don't listen to mom. Mm. Anyway, baby goats are so much fun to watch. Oh. All right, you can be on there. What I'm afraid of is they're going to jump on this. And they're just going to, yeah, they might have already. I'm scared they're going to break this, this thing out real, real quick. But I guess we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, that's the baby goat. I'm excited to see that one keep growing. Uh, uh, let's go check out some more of the birds. Okay, up here in the pigeon loft, I threw those two helmets in here. Uh, I think there, yeah, there's an owl. There's an owl up there. There should be another owl in here somewhere. Looks like there's something nesting up there. I didn't know that nest was there. Where's the other owl? Huh. Oh, I'm sure we'll find him later. Uh, but that nest pretty sure got abandoned um, during that cold snap. I need to take those eggs. Someone just came walking out of here, so there's a new set there. And here, excuse me. What do we got? A couple of eggs there. But uh, yeah, you can definitely tell that we got some warmer weather because the pigeons are starting to go crazy. I've had some nests. Well, they hatch week, two weeks ago, something like that. Time's been really kind of weird for me recently. But over in this side, with all these guys here, um, we do have, there's a single in here. Now this guy, hey bud, he has been growing like a weed, but I'm excited to see what color he throws. So, yeah, excited to see him. Over here, we got a couple more. Hey guys. These guys definitely gonna have some white to them this guy here's a red but uh yeah they're <laughs> they're pretty popping birds i'm excited to see what they look like feathered out as well you guys are just a mess but you guys are gonna be so pretty and i know uh there's nothing in this one nothing in that one there is a nest here with a couple of eggs in it thank you nope sorry right there Anyway, I haven't been up top. There's a few more nests up top, up in those. I haven't gone and checked those in a while, so haven't seen a lot of birds coming in and out of them, but there is a possibility of them being there. There's also mom with a couple eggs in there. But nothing crazy. Just pigeons doing pigeon things. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, we get a bunch of them rolling here <laughs> pretty quickly. Well, that's kind of the bulk of everything here at the farm. A um, lot going on, but not a lot going on. I'm kind of excited to get back into the swing of things and, you know, be able to do some more stuff around here. Shop's kind of slowing down a little bit. I still got about four hours worth of work to go home and do, so that's why this video is a little bit shorter. But uh, before I close this thing out, uh, one of you guys actually hit me up last year, but thinking about doing it this year, 
uh, offered me a chance to enter a one loft pigeon race. Uh, basically, I would pay the entry fees and everything and then be able to enter a pigeon, which would be a whole lot better quality pigeon than what I have here would be a stud comparatively. But uh, I'm not even sure how many birds are in this race. It's a lot. There's like $1.2 million worth of prizes that go out. I think top place bird gets 25 grand. But it does cost about $800 said and done to enter a bird. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, uh, do let me know. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would be like, yeah, do it. But I'm not sure exactly how the, the footage would go and everything. It's in a different state. So um, the guy that said that he'd set me up uh, would just send me some videos of the bird, pictures and stuff like that uh and different things along those lines so it would be more or less something i would just be able to update you guys on and not so much um actually show the race or anything like that i'm still trying to figure out exactly how it would work um that's quite a bit of money for me to to enter a bird in something but i'm tempted to do it because it sounds like a lot of fun i'm i think it could be interesting but there's there's birds from all over the place that would enter that thing so uh let me know what you guys think if it's a good idea bad idea i mean am i throwing away 800 bucks for a pigeon am i you know taking the chance to get something cool i don't know either way uh the guy i think he said he had four place in the top 100 last year which won a decent amount of prize money uh and you know i think the top 100 birds go up for auction also so it it could be pretty cool i i i'm man i really want to do it at the same time that's a lot of money but anyway let me know what you guys think uh yeah thanks so much for sticking around there's a lot more stuff to look at here later on but uh i've got to get back to work and uh this video is supposed to go out today so i don't know when it's actually going up but it is what it is anyway thank you guys so much for watching have a good one be safe out there and hopefully we'll see you on the next one